Now this simple tip I'm gonna show you with driver here will make you a brilliant driver of the golf ball. It will increase your chance of being consistent by a massive margin. Because what I'm seeing golfers do, when they get up to the top of their backswing with driver, who really struggle to drive the golf ball, they will be having these hands in a very vertical, high position here, to where their hands are completely over the middle of their body. To where then, what's gonna happen from here, is those golfers will then massively swing over the top because of this high hand position. They'll hit really down on the golf ball and really across with these kind of like low, weak slices of the golf ball. So what we wanna do here, we wanna get the hands more around us. So you can see now the hands are more around kind of the back of my feet area, around where my heels are, maybe even a little bit more behind. So from there, it's gonna be so much easier for me to deliver the club on a good path because where our hands are at the top of the backswing immediately affects our path in the downswing. So when we rotate and start that downswing, the hands will follow where we're rotating. So if we have our hands on top of our body here, this lack of depth to the hands, the hands are almost already in front of us. So when we start turning in the downswing, maybe even if good sequencing, lower body, mid torso rotating first, the club will still be thrown over the top. You will still hit with a very steep angle attack very across it. It's gonna be ridiculously difficult to swing the club on path from there. I'll see golfers then from here, try to vertically drop the hands down. And then they've pushed their swing more into the ground and they're making it hard for themselves. They would have to early extend from there. So you can see how doing that is not very conducive to being a great driver of the golf ball. But the best driver of the golf ball of all time is Rory McIlroy. Now, what does Rory McIlroy do? He's at the top of his backswing with these deep hands. He's got these hands that are more behind his body, a little bit behind his heels. So from there, why he's so good, and this helps him so much, is because then he can turn the downswing, and now the hands aren't getting pushed massively out in front of him. Now that club is more on a more appropriate path. It's shallowed out easier. Now then, I can just continue to turn through the golf ball, extend my left side, and that club is traveling up through the golf ball way more consistently because he's got the hands more back behind him. Now, how do we get these hands more around us? It's all well and good saying to do it, but how do we do it? Because what we don't want to do is physically pull them around and really have this extra ultra flat backswing with the right arm shooting behind us. That's going to cause more problems from there. So we want to do this in a functional way. So ultimately, how the body gets these hands going more around you naturally is using your turn. Remember me saying, when you rotate the downswing, the hands follow your rotation. They do the same thing in the backswing. When we're rotating in the backswing, the hands will start to follow that rotation, which is why resisting rotation in the backswing is such a terrible thing to do. You have to free up that turn. If you struggle to get turn of the shoulders, turn more with the hips. It's really gonna influence these hands moving in and around naturally. Get that big full hip turn, the back belt loops of your trousers, point them down the target line as well as you can at the top of your backswing. That will naturally get these hands traveling more around. So just doing that alone, as you're gonna see here, gives me way more depth. But if I wanted to get there every single time and guarantee that I'm gonna get a good rep in in my practice, I would do something like this. I would have a swing plate and I would have the extension part of the swing plate so you could ultimately have an extremely long alignment stick and just have this at an angle where it's gonna block your hands from traveling too high up here. So I've got it at an angle here to where if my hands go vertically up, I'm gonna hit this stick. So we almost want it covering our right shoulder. So if we're gonna really work on this, we wanna extreme it a little bit. So if this covers really, or it's just on top of my right shoulder here, I have to get this, these hands more around me. I can't be too vertically up, because I'm gonna hit the stick. So if I'm getting that big full turn, getting that back belt loops of my trousers, pointing down the target, maybe a little bit left of it, then if I'm missing this, I'm gonna be in that good spot that we see Rory McIlroy at. Again, one of the best drivers all, all time. It's great to learn from players like that. And that's something that everyone can do as well. Not everything the top players can do can you copy, but this is certainly one of them. So let's miss this and we'll hit a better shot. So guys, if you get those hands more back 
at the top of your backswing deeper, you're gonna turn driving from a weakness to a strength very, very easily. So if you also want a swing plate to work on this, I very much recommend working on with this. It'll get you in the position. I have a code down in the description there. It's Chung Golf lowercase at swingplate.com, get you 10% off. So make sure if you're gonna work on this, you get the extension pole attachment to it. So get in these positions, guys, get those hands a little bit deeper and you're gonna be playing much better golf. So if you enjoyed this video, of course, click that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button too to be notified every time I put out a video. So let's get those hands deeper.